Hey, what's up, YouTube? What's going on on this wonderful Wednesday, man? It's your boy Rebuke hollering at you, man. And shout out to all my new and current subscribers. Thank you for rolling with us, man. Thank you for choosing Rebuke All Devils for your latest breaking news. And we got this gang banging judge that was doing drive bys. Let's get into this story, courtesy of the New York Post. <clears throat> Troubled judge facing eight felony gun charges, indicted again after alleged drive-by shooting at brother-in-law's house. Shout out George for bringing us this story. This judge was out of order. <laughs> A sitting Oklahoma judge already facing multiple felony gun charges in Texas has now been indicted for allegedly riddling his brother-in-law's home with bullets in a drive-by shooting in his home state, authorities said. <clears throat> Garfield County Associate Judge Brian Lavelle, 59, was charged with fresh felony counts of discharging a firearm into a dwelling and use of a vehicle to facilitate the discharge of a firearm last week in connection with the February 12, 2023 gunplay in the town of Bison, Oklahoma, the Enid News and Eagle reported. Two days after the alleged shooting outside brother-in-law Kenneth Mark's home, Lavelle claimed that the gun had been stolen from his vehicle. Oklahoma Attorney General Gettner Drummond said in a press release this week. Man, that judge was bugging, huh? That judge was straight up bugging. Look at him. Threw his whole life away because he wanted to do drive-bys and put in work, man. And I think these are the people that be presiding over your case. With this kind of mentality, you know what I'm saying? I mean, it is absolutely amazing. It was not Lavelle's first scrap with the law involving a firearm. The controversial jurist also faces eight felony counts in Texas for allegedly using the same Glock 2340 caliber gun in a similar incident in Austin on September 11th of last year. In that case, Lavelle is accused of driving near Mata Morris and Santa Maria streets in his white SUV, during which he allegedly discharged a firearm approximately five times, the Eagle said. Wow, man, this dude was tripping in broad daylight. The bullets hit several vehicles in the area. About an hour later, Lavelle allegedly rear-ended another vehicle during the road rage encounter, the victim claiming he tried to push her car into oncoming traffic. The judge was indicted in the Austin case on February 29th and is free on the $10,000 bond, the outlet said. After, after he done all that, all he got was a $10,000 bond. Look at this. And that's his brother-in-law right there, Kenneth Marks. Home was allegedly targeted by Oklahoma Judge Brian Lavelle in the drive-by shooting, police said. And I only thought that happened in the hood. That goes some of the damage right there. Look at that. And here go the mug shot of that foolish, dumb ass judge right there. Look like one of them dudes off the Adams family. I can't remember his name. The real tall one. You rang. <laughs> In the new Oklahoma indictment, Lavelle's lawyer, Stephen Jones, said prosecutors don't have a case. As far as the merits of the charge and the defense, we do not at this time have the discovery material which in due course will be made available to us, Jones said. From our own investigation, the evidence is insufficient to convince a jury beyond a reasonable doubt. We intend to defend the case vigorously and during the course of the investigation, the judge and Ms. Lavelle have cooperated fully, he said. Oh, yeah, I bet he did. He ain't, he ain't got no choice but to cooperate. They on this behind, man. And you know what? I would not be surprised if this clown don't get convicted and sent to jail. And you talking about a, a fall from glory. You know what I'm saying? You go from being a sitting judge to possibly a convicted felon that's going to be sentenced to prison. And you might run into some of the very same people you sent to prison. My advice to you, judge, is don't drop the soap. <laughs> Drop your comments down below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Don't forget to click on that notification bell. And I'll catch y'all on the next episode. Peace.